sorry, baby, but I gotta go. I got a party to crash. Oh, oh don't you look cute when you pout? <laughs> what was your name again? Bill. Oh, yeah. Well, Bill, it's been great having sex with you, and trust me, it's what I needed, so thank you. But what I really need right now is to go. So, ciao. I'm very glad you could join us here at the Midland, and I'm very happy you could be with us for our latest show. As many of you know, much of my work involves that most important human experience, love. Be it emotional, physical, or spiritual, capturing the essence of love has been my obsession. I've chosen these photographs as some of my favorite representations of that quest. So please enjoy, and thank you for coming. Excuse me, miss. Do you have an invitation? You don't like it. Sorry. I'm just not good at hiding my feelings. Don't apologize. I'm Marissa. Allison. I don't remember any Allisons on the guest list. I wasn't invited. I'm crashing. Isn't this when you're supposed to ask me to leave? I'm more interested in why you don't like the photograph. Sure about that? Please, I appreciate your honesty. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Your early erotica is what inspired me to pick up my camera. But this, this is just the same old thing, isn't it? I mean, the lighting, the composition, even the looks on their faces. I was screwing an hour ago, didn't look like that. Go on. Show me something I haven't seen before. Something that just draws me in and makes me wonder what's going on there. Show me something compelling. Like... that. That's not my work. Doesn't matter. The point of this piece is that it makes me want to know something about it. Well, there's a story behind it, but it's rather personal. Well, then again, art is supposed to be personal, isn't it? That's what they tell us in art school. The sculptor was a man I met in Spain. Very arrogant, very handsome, very talented. I was younger, about your age. It was one of my first trips abroad on my own. I don't know why I turned down that particular street, but I did. Maybe it was the smell of honeysuckle. Or maybe it was just fate. Look toward the water. Good. Now lift your chin. Too much. Yes, yes. Right there. Good. Now touch your breasts. Good. Pinch your nipples. I want to make them flush and full. Lift them up. Let them say hello to the day. Good. Now put your hand on your throat. All around. Now through your hair.
I run your other hand slowly down your body. Don't lose touch. Slowly. Rosa, I want you to touch yourself. You are beauty, Rosa. Can you show me your beauty? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, so now you're leaving. The show is over and no applause. I'm sorry I didn't mean to intrude. Well, I think that that is exactly what you've done. Now that you've invaded my privacy, you plan on sneaking away, don't you? I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Rosa doesn't mind, do you, Rosa? So why don't you come out from the shadows? I said... Come over here, now. So, do you think Rosa is beautiful? Yes. And do you see her in my clay? Yes. Are you always little Miss Peeping Tom? No. So you have shame, do you? Well, then maybe you could be one of my models. No. Not if I have to do that. Well, then maybe you could uh, perhaps do something else. What? What would I do? Rosa, why don't you tell little Miss Peeping Tom here, what do my models do? Models do what her nun says. See, I'm an artist and we make art here. Nothing sexual. Nothing sexual? Everything is sexual, my darling, everything. Rosa smoking cigarettes is sexual. Little Miss Peeping Tom blushing is sexual. A naked woman's body in the sunlight is clearly sexual. And they're all beautiful. And they're all so very, very sexual. And that is what I seek to create here in my space. What is most beautiful, what is most sexual. the passion where is the heat it's between her legs in the pussy that is where the life is
Aha, so you have some heat. The problem, my darling, is that your heat is up here and not down there. I'm an artist and this is my home. I have no time for modesty. Come back when you can give me the heat that I need. <laughs> or not. I tried to get his words out of my head, but I couldn't. He was right. There's no room for modesty in art. Whatever you're doing, it has to be all the way, or it's just not true. I also began to see what he meant about everything being sexual. People, machines, buildings, even simple pottery. They all seem sexual if you just let yourself see it. He challenged me as a woman and as an artist. I don't know which was harder to resist. Well, that is a little Miss Peeping Tom. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry, the show doesn't get started till two o'clock today. You have something for me? Some heat? Bring it to me. Rosa, get rid of the rag. We have some work to do, and it seems we have a new model to help us. Does Miss Peeping Tom have a name? Marissa. Marissa. What a lovely name for such an interesting creature. Marissa, I'm going to attempt to capture your essence and make art from it. You might be a little nervous. Don't be scared. I want you to give yourself to me. Trust me. If you don't, well then this whole thing will be a waste of time. I want to give myself to you. Good. I want you to relax and most importantly, listen to my voice and let everything else go. Rosa, if you remove Marissa's blouse, please. No, it's all right. And yet, I didn't ask you to. If I wanted you to do something, I would have told you. Now, if that's not satisfactory to you, or perhaps you don't quite understand, then let me know now so we can end my session and bid you farewell. I'm sorry. I didn't mean You're to. You're sorry? Darling, you are my model. Don't discuss or debate. Yes. Yes what? Yes, I understand. Ah, thank you. My only explanation as to what I want from you is I want to see you with another woman. And I want to see you react when you are touched. Will you stay or will you go? Perhaps you have some shopping or sightseeing to do. I'll stay. Oh, thanks be to heaven. Rosa, will you be so kind as to stand behind Marissa and rip off her blouse? I want to hear the buttons. Ah, now we begin to see what is what. Rosa, if you'd be so kind as to remove Rosa's blouse.
Ah, all breasts are beautiful. Every size and shape. You see, Marissa, I'm actually quite nice when you do what I want. Now, I want the two of you to touch each other very gently. Good. Marissa, put your head against Rosa's neck. Turn your body toward me. Toward me. What do you smell, Marissa? Jasmine. Do you like Jasmine? Yes. I want you to breathe her in. I want you to breathe Rosa in. Rosa, you are beauty and violent, both of you. And I am clearly unworthy of molding your image. Marissa, you've graced my studio with your presence and I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I take you from the air into the earth and then the fire. You cannot escape me. I would like to see you tonight. I'm afraid that's not possible. Are you and Rosa? I'm never intimate with my models. My interaction is with the clay, and the clay only. I have to leave tomorrow. Well, I wish you a safe journey home. But I thought... Well, you thought wrong. I apologize for any impression I might have given you, but it's best you go now. I'm sorry, I... Please! If you could leave before I get more ugly than I care for you to see. Marissa, I apologize for my behavior. Please join me for dinner at the studio at 8 o'clock this evening. Regards, Hernan. Marissa? Hi. You look even more lovely in the evening night. Thank you. I wanted to... Take this opportunity to apologize for my behavior earlier today. I'm a temperamental fool. But one who's very glad that you're here.
to an evening with an exquisite woman. Cheers. Mm. What about what you said about being with your models? Well, I figured since you're leaving tomorrow, you're no longer my model, but perhaps now my muse. And uh, how could I live to capture the passion in my art? Would yet be so foolish to let it slip away when it's right here in front of me. said goodbye in the morning and I never saw him again. So, a year later, a huge crate arrived with the sculpture inside. I have no idea how he tracked me down, but it became the first piece of my collection, probably the one closest to my heart. I was right. There was something about it. It had a story and you just had the nerve to tell it. You know, I think I kind of like you. I kind of like you. So, what would you say about working here, the Midland? What, is like an assistant? No thanks. No, I was thinking more like resident artist. Room, board, stipend, and uh, if it works out, maybe a show. You do that for me? Sight unseen? Well, you are Allison Craft, aren't you? You know who I am? A few years ago, I saw an article about you in one of those young photographer magazines. Your work is good. It's a bit raw, maybe, but you got the That eye. article was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, you kind of disappeared after that. So you want a job? Why not? Sometimes you gotta take on a challenge, right? You got yourself a new artist. Great. I bust on your work, I land a gig. You want me to start looking around and dump on your other stuff? No, thanks, but let's make a toast. To new friends. To new friends. And handsome Spanish sculptors. And handsome Spanish sculptors.